to the second part of my six axis robot um, to make things more convenient or easier. I want to make a new product and insert the existing components step by step, one by one. So we'll close this file and make a new assembly in the team U Kinematics Workbench. So first I want to insert the base of the robot. That's this one. And move it slightly somewhere else. Why? Because uh, I downloaded the whole robot, so all components would pop up in the right place. So to avoid this, I moved the base. If you want to simulate a mechanism, you need a fixed part. So I go for this anchor, make a new mechanism, call it, for example, this robot. And select the fixed part. That's, that's this one. Then insert the turret into this product. That's the turret. Open it. And now I could use the published elements on the joint and make a revolute joint between the axis of the base, the axis of the turret, the face of the base, the bottom face of the turret, and make it angle driven, and you have already a mechanism which can be simulated. Let's take a look. When you have a slider panel, you can move the turret all around. Next, I want to insert the main arm. Yeah. Into the product. And the main arm should be this one. You may notice there is another axis right here. I forgot it in the first part of the video and then made it in the meantime. the joint which should be centered and it's between this axis and that axis and this place and that face and this face and it's turned around that face and it's centered and it's not driven by anything. Let's take a look, it should be yeah, looks centered to me. Okay. Just turn it a little bit. and make an update for the mechanism. Okay, that's in the right place. Oh, then I need oh, the cylinder and the shaft and let's drive in the whole mechanism. Maybe the shaft which is moved inside and out of the cylinder, or maybe it's the cylinder which, cylinder which turns, but I think it's the shaft. So I will make The 
joints for the sound the first. It should be a cylindrical joint between this one and that one. Okay, and I need no more joints because the shaft will center everything, hopefully. Yep. So I will insert the shaft. This one. Okay. Let's move it. Okay. And I need a cylinder to joint. which is length driven, so the axis should be this axis and that axis, and it should be length driven. Let's take a look, maybe it's already enough. Okay. Make this visible again. So this should be on that axis. It's a centered one. The lip joint and it's centered. It's Centered and it's between this axis and that axis, and it's between this face, the upper face, and This face and this face and okay. So that can be simulated. Let's take a look. Okay, that's a little. Take a look what happens here. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, that looks really nice. Okay. So next should be the part which I called adapter and the secondary arm. So I might go for the adapter. Maybe you should call it different. And it's this part. Let's take a look. Yeah. It should be a revolution between this axis and that axis and between this face and that face and it should be 
angle driven. Okay. And then we'll insert another existing component. Secondary arm. Okay. And there should be another revolution between this and that axis and this face and that face. And it should be driven by angle. Take a look. Let's hide the tree. There's a, another slider. Okay, take a look. I can, yes, I can move this up and down and I can rotate this on. Looks nice here. Everything works. Fine. And then I need maybe it's a magnet, maybe it's something else which holds the parts which are put and inserted by this robot. So let's insert. Just show the tree. And you could collapse all once like this. And now insert that existing component into this product. This one, okay. Let's take a look. This should be where the loop joint, which is centered, okay. So it's between this axis and the right axis, centered between this face and that face. Um, this face and that face. Yeah, looks nice. This should be angle driven as well. Or maybe it should always. be related to the other angles. I don't know, I'm not quite sure, but I make it angle driven. Okay. And then there is a plate. I will insert this plate. This is the component to this product. It's this plate and maybe the script term as well, I don't know. And it should be this axis and I didn't make an axis right there so I can try to catch this axis and it's between this face and that face. Okay, so there are only some small parts missing which don't do any good 
follow the mechanism so I will leave it up to you to finish this whole robot but let's take a look for the simulation if it works right here subsurface robot ok and run the sliders Oh Jesus, maybe it's not showing. That's awful. Sorry, I forgot the last joint. This one should be angle driven as well. Right? Sorry, I forgot this one. So it's no, not a bug, it's a mistake. Okay, but now it should work and I could control this robot with, I think, five sliders, six sliders, six sliders, it's six axis robot, so there should be six sliders. So take a look, you can move this up and down, you can rotate this one, you can rotate this one, you can change this angle, can change that angle and can rotate the base. So, yeah, it's done. So, hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Mm -hmm.